an intraarticular T-shaped fracture of the base of the thumb metacarpal, a so-called Rolando fracture, is to be stabilized with a 2.0 T adaption plate with three holes in the transverse arm. The access to the base of the thumb metacarpal is dorsal, between the two extensor tendons of the thumb. The base of the thumb metacarpal can be exposed through different approaches. Here a dorsal, proximal skin incision curved slightly in the ulnar direction is chosen for dorsal positioning of the plate. The subcutaneous tissue is opened bluntly with the scissors to protect the branches of the radial sensory nerve. Insertion of the blunt hooks. Identification of the extensor pollicis longus tendon and the extensor pollicis brevis tendon. The fascial portions running transversely between the tendons are incised longitudinally. The periosteum of the metacarpal is incised in the same direction and retracted. The position of the saddle joint is determined. To expose the surfaces of the joint, the incision of the periosteum is extended in the proximal direction as an arthrotomy, and the joint capsule is reflected radially and ulnarly. The approach is marked on the model. The soft tissue is dissected longitudinally over the thumb metacarpal. Proximally, the incision curves in an ulnar direction. After the soft tissue is retracted with blunt hooks, the approach to the metacarpal is made between the two extensor tendons of the thumb. First, the exposed joint fragments are reduced and stabilized with the reduction forceps. In this way, the reconstructed joint can then be reduced to the shaft of the metacarpal bone. A 2.0 T adaption plate is used for the definitive stabilization. The central hole in the transverse arm of the plate is positioned over the fracture site so that one screw can be placed in each joint fragment. The plate must be fixed to the shaft fragment with three screws, the hole nearest the fracture remaining empty. The plate is shortened and contoured accordingly. Using the 2.0 1.5 double drill sleeve, the first screw hole is drilled through the radial hole of the plate with the 1.5 mm drill bit. The screw length is determined with the depth gauge. The appropriate 2 mm self-tapping screw is inserted. In the ulnar hole of the plate, the hole is drilled eccentrically with the 1.5 mm drill bit. In this way, when the screw is inserted, compression of the intraarticular fracture is obtained.
The reduction forceps can now be removed. The thenar musculature can be retracted. At the same time, the metacarpal shaft can be reduced to the joint fragments. The 1.5 mm thread hole is drilled eccentrically in the middle of the three planned screw positions in the shaft to obtain compression between the shaft and the joint fragments. After determination of the length, the appropriate screw is inserted. The final two screws are inserted through the plate in the neutral position.